Dawson Ryder with you. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the Deluxe Omnitrix from the Ben 10 Reboot. So I've been getting a lot of requests for this after I posted my, posted, after I posted my first two Ben 10 reviews, but I had to wait for this to arrive. So yes, here it is. As I said at the beginning, it's the Deluxe, so this is the more expensive one, the one with more features. There is a standard one, which will be the review going up right after this. But let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, so overall, honestly, this thing is pretty cool. Um, I definitely have a few little nitpicks, but overall I think it's pretty fun and I think especially kids will enjoy the ton of features. Um, it's very bulky for sure. Um, it's, if you couldn't tell um, from the series and from this, they are basically just using the exact same design from the original series, I guess, for nostalgia and because that was still the most popular one at the time. So there's really no changes to that in terms of what it looks like in the show. Um, but it's got a much more square-like appearance. Uh, you have the sort of softer Velcro wrist strap, which is nice, don't get me wrong, but I actually prefer the plastic one that was like from the original Omnitrix release and so on because I think it made it feel more like it was from the show. Uh, this is very reminiscent of the digital like Omnitrix game that I reviewed a little while back. Um, and the same with not only just the strap, but the design itself and feel of it reminds me of that. So it is a little bulkier and it kind of reminds me more of the digital game than like the Deluxe Omnitrix from the original series, which is kind of a drawback. Uh, Look-wise, otherwise it, it gets most of the details you need. Uh, you can see through there we're going to be able to see the aliens when it's turned on uh, via this little like magnifying glass type deal, um, which is really cool the way it works, and I'll get into that in a second, but I also kind of wish there was a way that they utilized uh, the way that these little shutters are going to fold, you'll see in a second, to make it, you not see anything, and sort of make it seem more like the show. Again, that's a nitpick, and I think people will still have fun with this, but um, some of the other Omnitrixes were make made to feel like that, and it's kind of a nice thing that I even remember from when I was little that I wanted it to feel as much like the show as possible, and it's just a little detail like that. Um, but basically, you pop this up with this button, I think it's already up, is it? No, yes it is. And you slam it down, or you can push it down, and you press this up, um, and it's actually a pretty secure mechanism. It feels a little bit more like uh, it won't break over time, like that was one of the problems with the original Omnitrix release from the first series, was that it did uh, become loose over time. And there's this button here to activate sounds and that's pretty much it. We'll turn it on here. You have off mode, the demo mode for when it's in the package in the store, and then on. And when we turn it on, it'll illuminate with the green light and it'll pretty much just stay on all the time. It's time. So you got it like that. It'll stay red when you have it closed down like that. And if you have it up when you turn it on, whoops, sorry, it'll be green. And so you hear that Ben voice, which we heard in the figures that I did. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that all of the actors aren't the same as in the show. Thanks, Ben. Uh, but the aliens, I think, are at least pretty close. The one, a lot of them sound very similar, to be honest. Um, but... But um, the one I think that you can tell it's not really them is Stinkfly, because it sounds sort of like Greg Sipes, but not. And as you can tell, Ben sounds nothing like actual Ben. And um, as you can see, when you have it on, it will just cycle between these phrases uh, until it eventually hits basically... The plan when you have the it'll just basically hit uh, eventually a timeout sequence where it will finally turn off. And I'll just kind of wait for that and sort of talk through it a bit. But you'll hear various phrases and then it'll hit a mode where he says, I'm timed out, and then it'll turn off. Um, So we're really close to it now. Pretty soon it'll just totally time out and then it'll basically shut itself off, which is kind of neat. And it'll do the same thing if you're just moving through the selections. Like, uh, there we go. The very next one will be the actual timeout noise. And then it'll just shut itself off and I'm just gonna reset it. So that'll happen the same even if you're selecting aliens like this. So you can move it around. So you can move it around. And it'll make that noise, and you can see all the aliens. There's I almost said water hazard because it's the uh, what's it? Overflow, stink fly, diamond head, uh, wild vine. It looks kind of like a chromostone for a second, or like diamond head, or uh, wolf blitzer, blitz wolf, or whatever. Heat blast, cannonball, forearms. I think that's where we started. Upgrade, gray matter. There's uh, an almost said water hazard again. I'm gonna set it to forearms just because that's kind of where I wanted to start it. Because it's got, it's like even. Uh, okay, so now we'll slam it down. And you'll just get that noise, and you see those little uh, 
like shutters closed in to make it look more like the Omnitrix when it transforms, which is a really neat feature. I think that's kind of cool. And like I said, I wish they manipulated it to have it not showing it when it's off. And then you press this button here to activate a variety of phrases for whichever alien you've selected. I think that was where we started. Okay. So now let's select another one. Now we'll do upgrade. I almost forgot, I'll, re I'll go back to show with forearms, and there's also an action sound. From motion activated. So you get a couple different action sounds for each alien. And I'll, like I said, I'll still go back to forearms to do that. And it's, like I said, motion activated, so if you have it on your wrist, you can, like, punch. Alright. Gray matter. I think. Okay. So his sounds. Okay. Accelerate. Okay. His action sounds. Okay. Uh, I want to say water hazard again. Overflow. Okay. It's funny because I thought it was uh, concise in w which order it went in, but I think it's random, honestly, because I keep waiting for the first one we started with so we know we're done, but it's random, so if I miss one or two phrases here or there, I apologize. But you get the general idea. Okay. Stink fly. Smell you later. Stink fly. Let's get stinky. Oh man, this hero stuff ain't easy. Stink fly. Let's get stinky. Float like a butterfly, sting like a stink fly. Oh man, this hero stuff ain't easy. I'm 100% putrid power. Now move it or lose it. Smell you later. So yeah, you can sort of tell, unless it's just distorted for some reason, it just sounds like someone trying to sound like Greg Sipes. Okay. Diamond Head. Between a rock and a hard place. 
Try his action sounds. This would have been cool to have with the original series one because I really like the crystal sound effects that Diamond Head makes in the original series in Omniverse. Okay. And now, uh, Wild Vine. Okay, oh, his action sounds, almost forgot. Okay. Heat Blast. Okay, sound effects. I appreciate that they make his red to indicate the fire, but it also makes you think it's about to time out, which is kind of confusing. All right, cannonball. Okay, and now we're on forearms, we can do his, his punchy effects. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, last thing I'm going to do here is I'll cut away to when it shows, but when you have it in transform mode, it will also just make timeout noises. So actually, I'll leave it like this so you can see the whole thing, and then so I'm just going to wait, and I'll zoom ahead to when it actually happens, because it actually takes a fairly significant amount of time. So there you got that, and then Ben will start saying phrases again. Uh, any second, I'll wait for him to say one, and then I'll shut it off. Alright, there you go. Okay, so that's pretty much about the it. Like I said, I'm sorry if I missed a couple phrases or um, attack noises because it is random. It's kind of hard to tell when you've hit them all. Um, especially since in the beginning I kept waiting to cycle back to the original one. But anyway, overall, I would say this thing is pretty fun. I think it's got a lot of great features. I think uh, kids will get a kick out of it. It's a really nice to have all those sound bites and action noises. Um, the, gr the lights that illuminate, the green lights are actually really well done and are, I think just really represent the show well. Uh, the way the silhouettes look are very reminiscent of the way the, both the show and the original show looks, which I think is cool. Um, so I think it's really nice and feature-rich. My only problems with with it are really that I wish it had the regular plastic strap to make it feel more like a gauntlet. Um, I wish there was a way to not always see the alien when it's in this mode like it would in the show. And then I do kind of wish, although this might more so be a fault of the series, it had more of a transformation noise. It's really just like a, a whoosh, basically. Um, mainly because the Omnitrix we've had in the past either had a distinct transformation noise such as in the original series or you had them calling out names in like Alien Force and Ultimate Alien so I would like to see that but overall I think that this is a good uh, bang for your buck in terms of uh, a lot of features in it and I'm sure we'll get more that might expand on those features I just talked about. I know that the standard Omnitrix looks a little more show accurate and if the series continues I have no doubt we'll at least get one more Omnitrix toy. But anyway that's about it until next time don't forget to like comment subscribe until next time Dawson Rider signing out.